Ever wondered why the Tasmanian Devil gets its devilish name? These unique creatures, with their distinct features and a bit of a reputation, might just surprise you. They're not as devilish as you might think. So, now that we know a bit about these creatures, let's delve deeper into their world. Imagine being a Tasmanian Devil living in the wild, untamed lands of Tasmania. Just picture it. You're a small, stocky creature, all black with a touch of white on your chest and rump. You have a head that's large for your body and sharp, powerful teeth that can crunch through bones. Your ears turn a fiery red when you're excited or angry, and boy, do you have a temper. You're not called a devil for nothing. As the sun sets, you spring into action. You're a nocturnal creature, preferring the cool, quiet nights. You scamper off, your keen nose leading the way. You're in search of food, and your diet is broad. From insects to birds, fish to kangaroo carcasses, you're not picky. You're a scavenger, cleaning up the forest floor, playing a crucial role in keeping the ecosystem balanced. You might come across a wallaby, dead, a few hours old. Perfect! You start to feast, your powerful jaws making short work of skin, meat and bones. You eat heartily, storing fat in your tail for leaner times. Your dining habits might seem gruesome, but it's your way of survival. Your contribution in keeping the wilderness pristine. Post-dinner, it's time for a bit of socialising. You're not as solitary as people believe. You meet with your fellow devils, communicating using a complex system of scents, sounds and physical gestures. You might even engage in a bit of rough and tumble, play fighting with your mates, showing off your strength. As dawn approaches, you return to your den, a hollow log or cave, your sanctuary. You curl up, your thick fur keeping you warm, and drift off to sleep, ready to do it all over again tomorrow. But alas, not all is well in the land of the Tasmanian Devils. Our Tasmanian Devil friends are in danger, and it's up to us to understand why. Now imagine you're a Tasmanian Devil. Your home is the wild, untamed wilderness of Tasmania, an island off Australia. But things aren't as rosy as they seem. You see, our devilish pals face a trifecta of threats. First off, there's this nasty disease called Devil Facial Tumor Disease. It's a mouthful, right? But it's worse for the devils. This disease causes tumours to form on their faces and mouths, making it hard for them to eat, and without food they can't survive. This illness is so contagious that it can spread just by touching or biting, common in devils' social interactions. Secondly, imagine your house shrinking day by day. That's what's happening to the devils. Their habitat is being lost to deforestation. Trees are being cut down for timber and to make space for human activities. It's like someone coming into your house and saying, Sorry mate, I need your room for my ping pong table. Not cool, right? Lastly, there are the predators. Now Tasmanian devils are carnivorous marsupials. They're used to being tough guys, but invasive species like foxes and dogs pose a significant threat. These predators are bigger, stronger and they don't play by the rules. They steal the devil's food, invade their homes, and sometimes they even attack the devils themselves. So, you see, life as a Tasmanian devil is a bit like being in a never-ending action movie, only there's no popcorn, no comfy seats, and certainly no intermission. It's a tough gig. But don't lose hope, for every problem has a solution. Now that we know about the plight of the Tasmanian devils, it's time for us to step up. You see, these fascinating creatures are more than just a cartoon character or a tourist attraction. They play a vital role in the ecosystem of their native Tasmania, and their loss would be a tragedy beyond measure. So what can we do? It's simpler than you think. You can start by getting more informed about their situation. Support organizations that are working tirelessly in their conservation efforts. Share their story far and wide. Let's get the word out there. And if you ever find yourself in Tasmania, respect their habitats. Remember, every action counts when it comes to saving our Tasmanian devil friends.